Hey guys, you're welcome to WTSWGS. What they say versus what God says. I am Mafen Kim. Today we'll be looking at something I have titled Extraordinary People. Extraordinary, beyond ordinary, extra normal, exceptional, unparalleled, noteworthy, outstanding, such and such. You get the point. So, what do people say about being extraordinary in God's kingdom and what does God say about it? I'll tell you, sometimes we as believers like the notion that we're just ordinary people doing ordinary things for God a little too much. You know, in the book of Acts, just before the first set of Gentiles received the gift of salvation and the Holy Spirit through Peter, he saw a trance about unclean animals animals a jew wasn't allowed to as much as touch or eat and peter replied three times as he was asked to kill and eat them that the animals were unclean and that he had never eaten anything common or unclean god said to peter in his trance what god had cleansed that call not thou common don't call it common common in this context means unclean it was speaking about the Gentile salvation. That was what, you know, God was referring to Peter about. And that is an example of times when we see things differently than God does, using our physical eyes and intellect to judge things that are very different in the spirit. Now, the born again, for all intents and purposes, is a new man in Christ, but his physical features don't necessarily change. The mind works the same way it used to and has to be renewed over time. So we get tempted into thinking that we're simply ordinary people doing extraordinary things for God, you know? But what does God actually say about us as believers, that is? 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. That the born again is a brand new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. 1 Peter 2.9 says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. The Amplified Version says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a dedicated nation, God's own purchased special people, that ye may set forth the wonderful deeds and display the virtues and perfection of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. One more. The New Living Translation says, But ye are not like that, for you are a chosen people, you are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. Glory to God. How common does that sound to you? Like, think about it. Making use of the words like royal, chosen, special, dedicated, because that's the very life that every believer has been called to. We're extraordinary people called to do extraordinary things for God. There are no two ways about it. Not because we have high IQs or because of physical beauty or strength or high level of discipline or organization or even great wealth, but by God's grace and by his spirit. The Bible says he called us out of darkness into his marvelous light, into the kingdom of his dear son. Now, Act 1.8 says, But ye shall receive power, ability, efficiency and might when the holy spirit has come upon you and ye shall be my witnesses in jerusalem and all judea and samaria and to the ends of the earth the very bounds of the earth that is in the amplified version a witness is someone who has seen and experienced an event and testifies of it in a way that convinces others that that is the truth in some circumstances, this testimony is given in court. And that is what you and I and every believer have been called to do. 
witnesses to God's glory, God's grace, and most of all, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you may not feel qualified or properly suited for the role, but God is not banking on your qualifications, but on your willingness. God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. He equips those he calls. And don't let Satan convince you otherwise, because as we saw last week, he will come. He will try. He will tell you that God has qualifying templates that he looks out for, an IQ requirement, an educational qualification, a C-suite job, or an entry fee, you know, of millions in one's bank account, that he employs only specialists, experts, and high-powered personalities. No, it is not true. Jesus said to his disciples, you will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. You will be my witnesses. Jesus took men to be his disciples who could not have conformed to societal standards of greatness in those days or even in these days. Some fishermen, a zealot, a tax collector. I mean, uneducated folks that you ordinarily consider a rowdy bunch, unschooled men who could not offer much to society, and such they were until they met Jesus. With Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection, things changed. On the day of Pentecost, after the ascension of Jesus, Peter stood and addressed a crowd of over 3,000, till at least 3,000 of them accepted Jesus, Peter who had previously denied Jesus before a simple servant girl. Everything had changed. It couldn't have been the same person. So it should come as no surprise when much later, the disciples were arrested for preaching the gospel and healing the sick in Jesus' name. And the Bible says, And the Pharisees and scribes took note of these men, that they were unschooled men. And they had been with Jesus. It was obvious. The thing they show, they had been with Jesus. That was the only thing that set these men apart. That was what made them extraordinary all all of a sudden. The one thing the disciples had going for them was their willingness to take a step when Jesus said, follow me. So plumber or executive, student or waiter, cleaner or lawyer, if you're willing to partner with God in his kingdom agenda, you are qualified. The New Living Translation of 1 Corinthians 1 from verse 26 to 27 says, Few of you were wise in the world's eyes, or powerful, or wealthy, when God called you. Instead, God chose the things the world considers foolish in order to shame those who think they are wise. And he chose things that are powerless to shame those who are powerful. So what is it that God is saying about you right now that you are calling common? What gifting is it that he has put on the inside of you that you have considered common all this while? What is that message that he has sent you to? What is that place that he has sent you to that you have said, Oh no, I'm just a small person. I am just a cleaner. I do not qualify for greatness. Simply because it doesn't conform to the world standards. Please get rid of that mindset and focus on the word of God and what it says about you. Matthew 5, 16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven, in the KJV. It's your light God is willing to use to shine on men's hearts and pull them to himself. It's an offer he is making to you to accept the life he is calling you to. Do you receive it? Now is the time. Now is the opportunity. Do you receive it? Believing that as one called by God, you are extraordinary. You are beyond ordinary. You are extra normal. You are exceptional. You are unparalleled. You are not worthy. You are outstanding. Go ahead and pray this prayer with me. Thank you, Lord, for your salvation in my life. And for calling me into your kingdom to serve you in this specific place at this specific time. And for this specific purpose, reconciling men to you. Despite my seeming ordinariness, I belong to you and have your very life in me. 
and Zoe is anything but ordinary. Today I receive the grace to manifest this extraordinary life and to pour out your grace and compassion on others that they too may experience the richness of your love. Amen. So we've come to the end of today's episode. If you were blessed by this message, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. And please reach out to us at the email in the description box, wtswgs at gmail.com. And we will get a copy of the Apocalypsis to you for free, a paid copy. You can follow the previous episodes on YouTube, on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts. Subscribe to the channel, guys like 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 it leave a comment in the comment section and forward the link on all your social media handles you do not know who might need this message thank you so much guys bye